Welcome to the Grim uh, end of year thing. This is not a celebration. I'm not celebrating anything. It's the end of the year. I thought I'd do something for the end of the year. All right. Well, look at that. Of all the crap that I've done. Well, number one, um, Ninja Turtles sucked. Uh, a bunch of other things suck. But the word about everything, a lot of things suck. Um, let me see. Um, well, first off, I like to say that uh, Marvel's screwed up this year badly. Since um, the movies are still going on, they're, you know. But one thing Marvel did really, really mess up is that when they first started these movies... The characters are in the position they were in. There was still a male Thor. There was still a not black Spider-Man. Well, there was a black Spider-Man, but he had his own comic. Um, there was not a black Captain America when they first started the movies. Um, this is what Marvel did wrong. First off... People started flocking to Captain America after the Captain America movie. Ah, uh, its sales uh, went up. Then Marvel did something because they ha they let um, Allison and um, please, please shoot the man, Brian Michael Bennis. You know, the writer of... The head writer of Marvel. They decided to... Screw it up. What they did... Is they took... Thor. For some reason, Mick Fury has some special ability to whisper in your ear... And say... Absolutely nothing... And you lose your powers. Still have yet to tell anybody what he said... Probably because it wouldn't make sense. Um, number two. Thor movies were still going on when this happened. When they decided to announce on The View. Thor is going to be a woman. Permanently. We're dumb. We're ignorant. We're stupid. We're Marvel. We can do it. And now people get the mixed message. A mixed message now. The people who first started reading the comic books when the Thor movie came out. I'll get to Captain America, back to Captain America in a bit. Um, Thor was still a guy. And then Marvel changes it to a woman. And people are like, what the hell? Oh, really? You do this, Marvel? They drop the comic book immediately. And yet they go still see the, go the movie. Because the movie character hasn't changed yet. Um, then Marvel goes about and mess something else up. What do they do? They turn Captain America, well, before, the Captain America movies were making a lot of money, like I said. Still are. Still going to. Thing is, comic books are dropping off sales. Why? Because they made Falcon Mar Captain of Marvel. I mean, Captain America. Then Miss Marvel becomes Captain America, Captain Marvel. They put a Muslim, yes, a Muslim in her spot. Now, why on earth would they put something that nobody, that ever, this body in this, almost everybody in this country has an uproar about in a position of power like that? Because Marvel. Wants diversity. Okay. Let me continue. You see, Captain Marvel was this supposed to show was supposed to show up in the end of the first Avengers. And so was uh Black Panther, that laughable character, um, who they're trying to make famous. 
I will never be famous. Um, <clears throat> I laugh at Black Panther because he all he was about was protecting Wakanda. Why did I make a, con a guy about a selfish, no count, wanna be superhero? And my opinion is my opinion. I'm not forcing it on anybody. Why would they do that? Why would they make a comic book about a no-count, worthless, selfish superhero? Because they wanted to. Marvel thinks he's important. About the only thing he's important about is that he has the only... His city has the only vibranium mine there is. That's why he's so rich. That's why he's so selfish. Oh, he's not selfish. He just protects his people. Exactly. He doesn't care about the world. He doesn't care about anybody but his people. So, Marvel, screw up. Number 5 or 10 or 15. It doesn't matter which. I'm not going to blame Marvel for the uh, Fantastic Four that was so laughable. It was pathetic. Um, I'm not Because that was Fox's doing. Not Marvel or Disney's. Um. But yeah. Um. The next screw up you did. Marvel. Is you gave. You brought Miles Morales into the. In my opinion. It's one of the big screw ups. Not that it's Miles, it's just that he's taking over New York. He's like the Spider-Man of New York now. Because Spider-Man went worldwide because he's a big, rich phony. He's a big, it's a phony, a big, fat phony. Marvel. Spider-Man was all about the man's comic. He was an average guy with an average job. And you turned him into a rich guy with no pro problems and no troubles in the world. And then to replace him in the Amazing Spider-Man and Ultimate, well, Spider-Man, you replace him with a kid who's. Nah, in my opinion, never will be worthy of wearing the spider costume. Would rather see another clone of Peter Parker. Rather rather see the Clone Wars again. I'm not talking about Star Wars. I'd rather see go live through one more day than have Miles Morales Spider Man. I'm not saying Oh, you're just hating because you're racist. No, I'm not. I'm just saying Miles sucks as Spider-Man. Okay? Miles sucks. He's a brat kid. Oh, Spider-Man did too at one time. Yeah, but Spider-Man stuff was laughable. Spider-Man didn't take the place of another Spider-Man. Okay? Miles took the place of the ultimate spider, ultimate Peter Parker position just like Thorina took the place of Thor okay same thing just different gender Marvel announcing on the view that they're never gonna give Pat Thor the hammer back that was their world's biggest mistake a lot of guys liked it because, oh, they get to see a hot chick beating up people. That's done in Miss Marvel. There's Miss Marvel. There's She-Hulk. There's um, Spider-Woman, which is no longer hot anymore. There's Spider-Gwen, which is a lot better looking than Spider-Woman um, at the moment. Because for some reason, mysteriously, Spider-Woman's pregnant. I'm not even going to get in that full sh whatever. There's Silk. Uh, there's plenty of other Marvel characters that are hotter than this 
cancerous chick. Unless you found can having cancer sexy or hot, whatever. I'm a grim person, guys. This is why I call it the grim news. If you want something good, hit the road. This is all about all the bad things Marvel's did. None of the good. Because Marvel's hardly did any good this year. Well, they hardly ever do any good since they started messing up, messing around with the, the good comic books they had. Okay, so if you want the goody, happy, 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 joy, joy stuff, go look at a comic book reviewer. Go look at someone who cares about Marvel's bullcrap. Okay? Go look at them. Go have fun. Good luck finding some of them, because a lot of the good ones have started down in Marvel and they're crappy writing. Just like I downed uh, the artwork. Gone are the days where we could read a comic book and have fun with it. Now it's like... Um... Somebody turn on the light? This comic, could someone turn off the light? This comic book's blurry. Oh, crap! No, it's just bad artwork. Um... A lot of the comic book characters are horribly drawn. The good stories are horribly drawn. The poor and pathetic ones have horrible writers like Brian Michael Bennis um, and a few others. I can't really point them. Brian Michael Bennis. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm repeating the same guy's name. have the best artists. So they pour everything into a horrible, horrible written story. Um, I mean, he had good runs on the X-Men. Uh, but he's just a horrible writer all, all over the board. And he's supposed to be their head writer, their lead writer, the man who hires the writers. And Allison want to be... I'm not even going to say this stupid thing. I about to just ax you in the back? Um, you know who I'm talking about. Um, I'm just going to call him Allison because that's Because to me, that he's he's a... a he's Brian Michaels Bennis's, uh Female dog. There we go. And he's just, both of them are just horrible at their jobs. Marvel hadn't been ran into the ground yet because at least he has some, they have some backing from Disney. Um, it squeezed me, the only reason they're still up and running is because Disney bought the company. Bought half the company. That's the reason. Marvel's still up and running. That's the reason why they're making all these mistakes. Because they have the money. They have the backing. The mess. The comic book up. When Allison was hired, Marvel started going downhill. They went further downhill when they started changing the characters' genders, their name, their, 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 their colors, their right... Well, actually... The other colors. I'm not gonna say race, cause actually I'm one. I'm from the human race, and why would I make fun of my own race? Um, and when they started doing that, started cranking out crappy comic books. Um, and then the art started getting even crappier and crappier and crappier. And all the best artists are on the crappy written comic books. And all the bad artists are on the really good written comic books. Seriously, guys, stop turning the ones that are cartoony, that aren't gonna, aren't supposed to be cartoony, into cartoonies. I don't want to look at Bugs Bunny in a Spider-Man costume. Thank you very much. Even though it has been done, hilariously done. 
Luckily, Brian Michael Bennis wasn't the writer. Um, yeah, Marvel just needs to do two things right now. Get a new head of the department, the writing department, and fire Allison. Two things they can do. The third thing, change the characters back to who they were. Make Falcon Falcon, make whoever Thorina was back to Thorina, uh, back to the person she was, and put Thor back, get Thor back his hammer. Those are the four things they can do. And no, yeah, get rid of Miles Morales. Give him back his own comic book, don't call it Spider-Man, call it the Miles Morales stories or something. Because he's not worthy of the name Spider-Man. Never will be, in my opinion. And then there's... Give She-Hulk back her comic book. Stop making Black Panther into somebody he's not. Um, stop, just stop changing the characters. and You know, don't call her Miss Marvel. Give her something else as a name. Because that's an insult, in my opinion, of Miss Marvel. And then change back the... Change back. The Runaways. Since when has Bucky been a runaway? Why are you making the cartoon goofy, the comic book, into a car, car, goofy comic book? Change back Girl in the Galaxy the way they were. Nobody wants to see Kitty Pride and freaking what's-his-name's costume. I mean, she looks stupid. And Drax, you got him his own comic book? He's a freaking murderer. We promote murderers now? And Rocket in the freaking Groot. You give Groot. The only part, only thing he can say is Groot. A comic book. Because Guard of the Galaxy was a hit. And everybody liked Groot. You are morons. That's a fad. People aren't going to read a comic book about a tree that says, I Groot. Or Groot. Groot. Every answer to everything. Groot. Oh, unless you miraculously made him talk now, which would be completely something Marvel would do, because they've already screwed up everything else. I swear, the only comic book that's worth reading is Spider Gwen, and I don't think they're coming out with a third one yet. I haven't seen pictures or anything. Another one hadn't came out yet. Hadn't seen the reviews on it. They just made two. Seriously, and you stopped the series there. When you got crappier comic, when you got crappy comic books that are made that are worse off than it is. Like the whole thing with the Spider Woman being pregnant. Seriously, guys, you turn a really hot chick into a pregnant chick. That's not gonna sell a lot of comic books. But, uh, yeah, this is how Marvel screws up. Good luck. Good night. God bless.